Freezing and hiding objects is another very common thing that you see in 3D Studio Max. Uh, for the example, I'm going to place a few objects here in the scene. I'll put a box down, put a sphere, and um, a cone. Okay. Um, I'm going to also take the grids off again, hitting G. And then I'll hit Z to bring everything forward. Um, if I'm working on uh, this and uh, I don't want to accidentally select this or this, I can freeze or hide these objects. Um, all I got to do is click it and then right click and choose free selection. And you can see that it, it turns gray. So you can still see it. It just uh, it turns gray and uh, it will not let me select it if I try. Um, if I want to hide an object, I can right click it and say hide selection and it just disappears altogether. But how would I bring it back? Well, if I right click and I say unhide all, it comes back. And what about this one? What if I want to select it again? I can right click and say unfreeze all and then it comes back. Um, few things I'd like to uh, mention. First, if I, uh, if I want to work with this and I want to make sure not to touch any other object while I'm working on it, and uh, suppose it's a complicated scene, you've got a lot of different things going on, I can click on it, right click, and say um, hide unselected. And everything that's not selected hides. So that's just a quicker way to hide everything. Instead of hiding this, hiding this, hiding this, you can go and just uh, hide everything like that. And then you just right click and say unhide all to bring it back. Also, um, you notice how when I freeze this, it shows in gray. Uh, you can change that. If you say unfreeze all, and you click on the object, and then you right click and you go to object properties, Right here where it says show frozen in gray, you can take that off and then you would see its original color when you freeze it. So that's just a preference thing there. I personally prefer uh, the, the gray because it allows me to know what is frozen. Um, let's see. Object properties show frozen in gray. Um, another thing too. Uh, if you click on an object and you right click and then you choose object properties and you click see through, this makes the object see through. So you can see through it. Uh, so if you were uh, placing bones in it or something, you would be able to see exactly how uh, they were lining up within that model. And uh, this uh, combined with froze or freeze selection is great for rigging because you can see through it. And it's also frozen, so you can't select it. So if I'm placing bones in an object, um, I need to be able to see uh, through that object or that model so that I know where to place those bones. But at the same time, it's going to be very difficult for me to place those in without accidentally selecting that model. Well, if I freeze it, then I don't have to worry about that. So when you're rigging a model, this uh, whole freezing, uh, see-through, um, hiding, this comes in very handy. So um, it's a very common thing, and it's a very good thing to learn. I'm going to say unfreeze all, and then I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, see-through off. So whenever you want to reverse that, you just click see-through again. Make sure it's unchecked. Hit OK, and it comes off. 